Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today somebody asked this question via email. Find out the max and minimum number uh, from the given three positive numbers. So from the given three positive number means it will work only and only for positive numbers, not for negative numbers and not for uh, other number which is uh, only for integer positive numbers actually. So how to solve it? So it, there are many solutions that you can do that. Like uh, you can write a typical if else logic also you can do that and uh, uh, some other things also so a quick thing i'll tell you uh, what you can do is that you can create let's see i have created one fine maximum number where i'm passing three integers a b and c and i'll be calling this method from the main method i'll create one max number which is starting with zero and then i'll put a while condition here i mean while loop here and then i'll write if uh, a is greater than zero and then i'll be using or operator and then b uh, greater than zero and then c greater than zero okay make sure that okay these are the positive numbers then only the condition should be satisfied and then come inside the while and then i'll write that i'll keep increasing each and every number a minus minus b minus minus and uh, c minus minus and then after increasing all these three numbers i'll keep increasing max plus plus increasing the value of max by one and then finally what will you get and then finally you will out of the for loop you will get your maximum number okay it's simple mathematics so let's see if i'm passing uh, three numbers 10 comma 20 comma 30 so which one is getting decreased first let's see 10 will be and okay will be reaching at zero then 20 will be reaching at zero after 10 and then 30 will be reaching at zero after 10 so by that time maximum number will keep increasing by one also so the maximum number this max variable will be increased 30 times so the out of 10 to comma 20 comma 30 30 will be the highest number so let's run it at simple mathematics you can apply here same thing you can apply for the minimum number also so for example let's see if i'm passing 10 comma 20 comma 30 and uh, let's see let's write some test cases for this remember this question was asked only for three positive number and it should be integer number so when you run this program let's see what is the output so here output is 30 you can see that perfect so let's see i'll do one thing i'll write some other combination and uh, let's see if i'm writing let's see two numbers are same 10 comma 10 then three numbers are same so it should give you 10 over here and then let's see i'm writing some large number 100 and then includes zero also zero also and then let's see zero because zero is also a number which is not a negative number then i'm writing let's see two zero and then let's see three zero these are the different test cases that i'm writing and let's see this is satisfying all these conditions or not so let's run it and let's see so here what exactly we are getting so here you can see the, from the first set 30 second set again 30 which is fine third set all numbers are same so obviously 10 is the the largest number and then 100 0 30 you are getting 100 and for 0 0 0 you are getting 0 over here like that so this is a logic simple <laughs> absolutely working fine so it's a very very quick solution you can give at a time of interview okay and the same thing if you really want to find out the minimum number so what you can do is uh, you just need to do what you just need to apply the and operator here and let's say this is my minimum number that i'm going to find out so minimum number passing abc and let's see the initially this will be my minimum number so i'll change the variable name min is equal to starting with zero and uh, what exactly i'm going to do that a zero and then i'm going to write and operator because and is a short circuit operator if any of the condition is not getting satisfied it will not come inside the uh, while loop and then keep increasing this guy and then uh, sorry keep incre decreasing abc and de increasing minimum over here and then you print min here okay so well, let's see so i'll do one thing let me just comment it out and then i'm gonna call find minimum number so let's see the minimum number out of 10 comma 20 comma 30 the minimum number should be 10 in the set so let's run it and let's see so what is the output that you are getting 10 which is fine so the logic is very simple once again i'm passing 10 20 30 and then they all are greater than zero because they are positive numbers if any of them is a negative number it will not come inside this and uh, then what will happen if the positive numbers are supplying then we will keep decreasing here so a minus minus b minus minus c minus minus and then minimum plus plus so just you will get 
minimum number over here like this okay so what will happen once uh, one of them is uh, less than zero what will happen it will automatically short circuit it means it will not come inside the while loop for example let's see a will be decreased first so a will become minus one first minus one greater than zero no condition is not satisfied and will immediately print the respective minimum number is a 10 that we got because minimum got increased by 10 times because a finished first that's why i'm putting and and of operator here okay so this is a very good use case of uh, or operator and and operator here so let's see some other examples as well to find out the minimum number so let's see if i'm passing a zero and then again let's see if i'm passing a 10 comma 10 once again and then 30 and then let's see if i'm passing uh, they all are zero okay so let's see am i getting the minimum number out of these sets so let's see the console output so we are getting yeah 10 0 10 0 which is i think uh, absolutely fine 10 then 0 then 10 and then 0 perfect so this is a solution that you can give for the find maximum number and minimum number remember this will not work for negative numbers this will not work for double and floating numbers as well same thing if you really want to try out from the given four numbers then you have to supply one more parameter here and then add d greater than zero and then here also you have to add d greater than zero so find out the maximum number and minimum number uh, from the n positive numbers you can supply here like this a very quick solution a very simple very very simple interview question this only trick sometimes uh, you can use at the time of interview if someone is asking this question it's quite famous interview question actually there are other solutions also no doubt about it you can write uh, if else if logic also you can write it you can compare a with b and a with c and then you can write one more else if then you can check b with c and then finally if nothing is getting satisfied then you can write c over here so that also will work in that case but in that will work for negative numbers also that you can try by your own so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching navin automation labs i'll keep adding these kind of uh, solutions and then these kind of questions in the form of videos if you have any specific question to ask please feel free to ask in the comment section or definitely i'll try to solve in the form of videos thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all